Hi, my name is Jason Schuler. I'm an applications instructor with New Horizons. I'm here to share a tip with you today for working more efficiently in PowerPoint. The selection pane is an often overlooked tool that's going to make it easy to navigate and select items within your slides. Let's have a look. So most PowerPoint slides benefit from including a title to help your audience quickly understand your message, but sometimes we don't want to see the slide's title. When, for example, the slide only contains a photo or a chart that already includes a title. So now PowerPoint offers slide layouts that don't include a title placeholder, but I recommend that rather than removing or leaving a title off of your slides, that you use the selection pane to make your title invisible. This will help when you're organizing slides using the outline view, and also if you're making custom slideshows, both of which rely on slide titles. But the selection pane has other useful features as well. To find the selection pane, click in the Home menu, go to the Edit group all the way on the right of the Tool ribbon, click on Select, and then Selection Pane. You can use the selection pane to hide slide titles rather than removing them from slides, but you can also keep your slide organized by moving items forwards or backwards in their order. This is great when you've got an item on your slide that might be stuck behind something else, so you can't actually click it to move it. Go into your selection pane and it's easy to move that item to the front of the list. I use a selection pane so often that I've actually created a new group in my ribbon to make it more convenient. You can do this by going to the File menu, down to Options, and then in the Customize Ribbon section, to add a new group onto your ribbon, you want to make sure you're in the Home section. At the bottom of the right column, click the New Group button. I named mine Selection. And then at the top of the left column, I'm going to go into the drop-down menu to where it says All Commands. You can click anywhere in the column and type a letter, in this case the letter S, to jump down to the items that start with the letter S. I'll scroll down a little bit to find the selection pane. Click the Add button in between the two columns to add it to a new group on your ribbon. Click OK and now you've got a new group on your home ribbon where you can easily access your selection pane. In the Microsoft PowerPoint 365 Part 1 class, we cover getting started with PowerPoint, developing a PowerPoint presentation, formatting text, adding and arranging graphical elements, modifying graphical elements, and preparing to deliver your presentation. Today's tip was from the New Horizons PowerPoint Part 1 class. If you found this tip useful and you'd like more, Click the like button below and subscribe. If you'd like to take this course, then click the link in the description below. I look forward to seeing you in class.